Thanks for seeing me. I'd understand if you didn't. Josh, please. Just because we broke up, that doesn't mean I still don't care about you. I was worried that seeing you as a therapist would be some kind of breach of ethics on your part. Uh, no, no. <laughs> so I see you've taken on a more bohemian look. Uh, yeah. yeah. You look great. Ah. Uh, Did you uh, change your appearance or something? Yeah, uh, I lost 27 pounds. Oh. Um, please, take a seat. Uh, well, I'm glad this won't be weird for you. I just needed to get some things off my chest. Josh, please. Whatever may or may not have happened is in the past and long forgotten. And you know, I think it shows real growth, you coming here to talk to me. After years of saying that therapy was a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, Gina. Uh, Dr. Carlisle. Uh, let's just keep it professional. Oh, sorry, Dr. Carlisle. <laughs> okay, I'll just get right into it. Uh, actually, could you sit in the chair over there, please? I find it helps with the process. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. So you know my mother, how she's always meddling in my business, what I'm eating, what I'm wearing, who I'm dating. Dating? Uh, you're dating someone? Well, yeah, but... For how long? Uh, Gina's really not one. Uh, Dr. Carlisle. Right. Dr. Carlisle. Therapists are called doctors, too? Um, no, but uh, psychiatrists are. You can see my big old degree right there on the wall. It's easy to remember. Oh, I remember. Last year we were dating, you were studying nonstop. Oh, so now the breakup's my fault? Maybe this was a mistake. Josh, please. Come on, you know how grateful I am of how supportive you were when I was in grad school. Just like I was supportive of you when you wanted to start a ska band. 33. 2018. It was actually more of a rap reggae fusion. Right, well, I'm sure it would have been great. I I'm sorry, go on. Oh, so my mother. Oh, what's her name? My mother? No, it's no. Claire, you know that. No, the woman you're dating. Oh, it's Monica, but we're getting off track. So let me go back. I have a repressed memory of something that happened to me with a babysitter when I was very young. Well, that was fast. Uh, I think that she touched me inappropriately. On several occasions, actually. Not normally what you're into, but... Well, yeah, I was 11. Oh, yes, uh, continue. So, she would play doctor, and I would lay really still like I was under anesthetic, and then she would examine me. Are you serious? Yeah, I know, right? That's not even the really bad part. So there I was, and she says to me, Josh, how well can you keep secrets? I'm sorry, wait. Is this really what you came here to talk to me about today? Well, yeah. What did you think I was here for? <sighs> okay, so something bad happened, you repressed it, yada, 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 and now you're a full-grown man-child who's incapable of holding a real relationship with an empowered woman with a legitimate career. Is that what you were gonna say? I really wouldn't put it that way. No? Okay, how about um, whatever happened is affecting your current relationship? Is that close enough? Well, yeah, but I don't think we should skim over the details like that. Oh, right, yes. Sorry, <laughs> I keep forgetting who spent 11 years studying mental health. Just, look, I'm, I'm sorry, just. Okay, so let's fast forward to today. How do you think this has affected your relationship with them? Um... I'm sorry, what's your name? Monica. Well, since you brought it up, let's talk about it. How are things? Well, we're fine. Fine? How fine? I mean, is it serious? Does she want to get married? But how many kids does she want? Or did you give her the whole line of, oh, I don't really want to bring a child into this world? We haven't really talked about it, so I guess I'm not sure. Hmm, yeah. You know, I talk about it, right? <laughs> I mean, better to just string her along for five years, make her think you're gonna marry her, have kids, then just pull the rug right out from underneath her. Give her some line about, well, I'm not the marrying type, actually. This is a bad idea. No, Josh, please, come on. I'm just trying to lighten the mood, you know, just joke around. 
I just don't think this is very productive. You're right. God, you always see right through me. Actually, I have an idea. What? Well, it's an exercise I learned at NYU. But I think it could be hugely beneficial if you're willing to give it a try. Sure. And then there was a time you came over to my grandmother's house for her 70th birthday and you didn't even come over and say hello. You just waved from the corner. I mean, who does that? And you know what? Don't even get me started on the time that you left my sister's wedding for a cornhole tournament. I mean, honestly, who plays kickball? Co-ed kickball, by the way, three times a week. Oh, but it's the playoffs, babe. I mean, at least be the lead singer or the guitarist. The trumpet? <sighs> and your mother. She can be a real bitch, by the way. I mean, some of my most fertile years, gone. I mean, do you know I had my eggs frozen? Do you know how much that costs? Or how painful it is? No, you don't care. No, you just lay waste to entire civilizations with just five minutes and an Ashley Graham swimsuit calendar. It's not even your fault. I mean, you know, we're just different people. I mean, you are who you are. Can't change that. Sorry. We're all out of time. We can pick this up next week. Oh, yes. Oh, Josh. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I, I feel great. <laughs> you said therapy was a waste of time. <laughs> Dr. Carlisle, right? Um, I'm your four o'clock appointment. I'm a little early, is that okay? Take a seat. Sorry, is that my line? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm sure we... Actually, it'll be funny if you're asleep. <laughs> you're, you're just asleep back there. <laughs>